The red winning machine hadn't let up by the time they got to Indianapolis four months later. And with 100,000 fans in attendance, Schumacher had led from Barrichello for the whole race. But then, coming off the banking for the final time, the Germans suddenly slowed. Barrichello drew alongside and they seemed to cross the line together, as everyone watching tried to work out who had actually triumphed. When the official confirmation flashed up on the timing screens, it was Barrichello who'd won by just 11 thousandths, the closest margin of victory in a Formula One race since the introduction of timing to the nearest thousandth of a second. <laughs> 